Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, as you can see here, we've got another project on the bench. Give me just a second and I'm going to go over here and shut my door and we'll talk about it. We have a glorious, glorious sunny day here in Southern Ohio today. 70 degrees. I probably should be outside uh, mowing the dog's bathroom, but you know, priorities, I guess. So, what do we got here? Uh, let me get you down here so I can explain this a little better. I, uh, I purchased this, you know, back in December. It finally got here. So in anticipation of that, I had purchased this because I needed uh, components from this kit to go in this one. And I'm going to show you uh, a quick photograph of what my inspiration is on this. And that would be that guy right there. Let me close this curtain a little bit. I think I'm getting too much glare. There we go. Um, yeah, I wanted, uh, I know this is a, I think this is a 59 cab, but you know, it's, uh, it's close. You gotta go with what you got. And as, like I say, you know, I don't build replicas. Uh, I just build something similar. So this is going to be the next project. Uh, we're going to have the four-wheel drive components out of the 70 Ford. Made it up with the 60. And we have that frame sitting here right now. I just... Got it painted a little while ago. It's, uh, like I said, it's 70 degrees outside. It's nice. As soon as I get done with this video, that's going back outside so it can it can uh, dry up a little bit better. But I think we have all the components here to, to make something very similar to this. Uh, I have a really nice set of one-ton resin uh they're not resin, they're 3D printed wheels from uh, Tim Bongard for the front and the rear. Here those are. I need to take a course on how to do videos, but yeah, we have those here. That ain't showing up with a crap. There we go. So we have a nice, uh, nice set of wheels, tires. We got the dualies for the back. Here those are. And uh, we have the, the basic components, okay? We got the wheels, tires, we got a four by four frame. We have a cab. We're gonna use the interior out of that uh, AMT uh, release. But then the back, obviously we will scratch build that. And I probably won't be doing all this up here, you know, the roof rack and, and all that stuff, but we will do something very similar you know we'll make us a, a 1960 mini pumper out of this uh ford kit so i think that's going to be an interesting build and you're probably wondering why this car is sitting here well the 74 is not going to go to waste because all of the engine components are going to go in this one so it will have a proper small block in it. And when we, uh, when we get to this build, I'm going to do a box art build and not necessarily a box stock build, but a box art build. And we're gonna do the blue and white car like this. And I've already, I've already made a light bar for it that matches the box art. We just have to uh, we have to finish that up and do some chrome work on it. 
although the the feet the mounting feet are a little different anybody that's built this kit knows that this light bar is nothing uh, similar to what comes in a kit those uh those lights resemble uh a number 11 Visi bar from Federal Signal and the lights that you get in the kit are more of a cone shape. They look more like a light off the Batmobile than anything else. So I scratch built uh, some domes here out of glass and then uh, just made some uh, bases for them out of some styrene tubing. And we will, we will use this on that kit when we get to it but it will have uh, it will have the proper small block engine that it should so this kit is going to be used in in two builds here on the channel but that's uh that's where we're at right now we uh like i said this just got out of paint and our our cab will set up here i had to do some modifications to the uh, the wheel attachment area right here in the front. I added a piece of uh, tubing on that. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have just a little nub sticking out there, which is this part only on the front. That's from the kit. Now I altered the resin wheels. Let me take this out of the tire. I altered the resin wheels by uh, drilling a hole in them. I, I uh, nipped off a little piece that was sticking up there and we drilled a hole in them. And what's going to happen, I highly doubt this is going to show up, but when I go to attach these, I can put super glue in the hole and super glue on that inner face. And then they will match up like that and we will have a great mounting point and we shouldn't really have any issues with them because i've done the same on both sides it's just barely sticking out there just enough to locate it you know on that on that wheel and our our tire you know, has just enough clearance to where it doesn't hit the tie rod. So let me back up a little bit. So yeah, that's what we're uh, that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna let we're gonna let this frame dry up really well, and then I need to figure out the back tire situation because if you look on our one-to-one -one photograph you know our rear tires are in line with the front so now i have to sit down and figure out how much i need to take off back here on this part without really altering the the rear axle but we'll just remove it from here so we can get those dualies you know, tucked up under there far enough. If I move it on camera. But, you know, that's uh, that's one of the joys of uh, model building for me is I like, excuse me, I like figuring things out and I like doing something different. So, yeah, that's what's next on the bench. 1960 Ford Mini Pumper. So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. I look forward to all your great comments. And uh, I hope you follow along with this one uh, like everybody did that followed along on the 59 Cadillac. That was, that was really fantastic. I really do appreciate that. And uh, hmm, what else we got? I think that's it. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.